Welcome to Upper Room Origami with Tim and Loa Brewer. And remember that we are having a contest that ends May 20th. And all you have to do is turn in to the email address that's listed at the bottom of this video uh, in the description. Yes. And also uh, make sure that um, you have either one of two things. One, the a picture of your origami or a video, and then write suggestions of what is origami you'd like seen done. There's people making fun and faces at me in the background right now. <laughs> So, so just to remind you, these are the, what, the, the gifts that we have. A friend of mine who's the author, I mean, actually, the illustrator will draw, uh, sign his name on them. He drew all these. Uh, one's a, a coloring book slash activity book, and the other one is a Bible story book. So anyway, remember, May 20th. So what is this week? Mother's Day. So some of you may have already bought your mom something, but you know what moms like? They like Hearts. when you actually make something for Hearts. them. So we're going to make two things. First, Loa and me, we're going to show how to do, as you might have know, guessed, a heart. So you can do different sizes, like this or this. So basically, you just need a square piece of paper. That's all you need. Let's take these off of here for a heart. And also for the second one, we are going to do a flower. Okay, this one, you also need a square piece of paper. Six by six is the size of paper we use for this one. And um, this one's going to have a little bit more detail. So the heart is simple, so it's a very easy thing to do, and you can make it and you can write your name on it and stuff to your mom. And then the, the flower is a little bit more complicated. So we'll do the heart first, and then we'll go directly into um, having a little closer view of when we do the flower. Okay, let's get started. You ready? Uh -huh. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to move this stuff off of here. So first, take the piece of paper, and we're going to fold it like that. You see? is really good at this. And then do you, what, what do we do now, Lo? Do we fold it the I other way? Tell. You don't want to, she doesn't want to tell. And now fold it the other wrong. way. Go to the middle. Oh, to the middle, she, I'm wrong. Fold it down to the middle, right there, to that line. What do we do after that? Put this one on top. So now, it's folded like that. Fold this one all the way so it's to the very top up here. Just line up. It's a line. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like to fold it. Okay, so <laughs> now take this side. You can fold it in half and then open it and it creates a line right here. There's already a line right there, Daddy. It's right there. Oh, I know, but sometimes you can't see it as good. Now go ahead and fold it up. One line side up with the line. to that line. Line up with the line. And then the same thing on this side. So it looks like that. Yeah, it looks Let like me see your show yours. Excellent. Now what do we do, Lola? Now take this and turn it around. Fold this point just to the top of this piece, to the paper right there. So do that on both sides. Should have put my glasses on first. There we go, got that? Now we got this, and now we take just this little bit of fold right here and fold just a little bit in right there. Just a little tiny bit. And we have our So you can go ahead and open it up and write a little note to your mom, or you can write on the outside. You can be as creative as you want. All right, show it. Ta-da! Heart for two of them. Okay, now we're going to do a close-up of the hand of our hands and the paper, and we're going to go ahead and work on the flower. Okay, so now we're going to do the flower. Six by six piece of paper is what I'm using. Square. Go ahead and fold it this way. How? And then open it up. Fold it 
this way. Wow. So amazing. Open it up. I'm going to fold it this way. Up and fold it one more way this way. Okay, now you take it, you know, if you can see this, and you push it in like this. What? Oh, I think I know what you're doing. So it looks like that. No, wait. Oops. Need some help? Loa's gonna try to do it now. Push it in, you got it? Almost. Mom, right you want me to show yeah. you? Yeah, no. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Wow, that's big. No, don't help me. Why is everyone staring at me? <laughs> Here, honey. Nope. I'm almost done. All right, let me see. Let me see her paper. Let's fold it in. Aww. Push it like this. There. There you go. Okay. Now what we want to do, now that it's folded this way, Go ahead and fold it up. And then I have kind of big fingers. You have smaller fingers. But you can go ahead and then open this up. And this crease right here, fold in line with this line. Match that up. Does it have to be exact? Well, yeah, the closer you get, the nicer it looks. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a pencil. Okay. Ah. There you go. And there is actually four sides to this. So we'll flip it over. That's so big. Let me see. Oh. This. All right. Now flip it over. Okay, so you flip it over and you pull this side up. So it looks like this. There you go. Need some help with that? Now let me see. So you go in, go like this, and then line that line up right there. Alright, so that's the second side. Oops, I gotta lower it down. Now go ahead and open up the next side. So you flip this over. You open it up. You want me to do it, honey, and then you just watch? Yes. All right. And then the last one. So it should be four sides. So we do all four sides. And then I always like to count, make sure there's one, two, three, four. Four on each side. Now you should have it so it looks like this. I know, honey. Well, we'll just watch mine, okay? Is it like this? No. Oh. <laughs> and then you fold this part right here. Okay. And then flip it over and do the other side. Again, four sides like this. Okay, and then Open it up. And hold this side. There we 
go. And it should be one more side. Don't forget, if you need to, you can always pause the video. Like that. Where's the camera? There we go. Now go ahead and open this up. And what we're going to do, actually, let's do this first. Keep it like that. And we're going to fold it like this in half. Okay, so that there's a nice line right there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And we're gonna fold it so that this part folds in. This is kind of the tricky part. And it folds to that point right there. And the same thing on the other side, fold this in. to that point. We're going to do that on all four sides so it looks like this. Now flip it over. And do the other sides. several steps to this but after this is the hardest fold these folds right here these four folds how many is that three or four I think this is the fourth one I'm not sure Okay, so let's look. Uh, let's see, that's it. So now, make sure there's four on each side, four flaps. One, two, three, four. And open it up. So that it looks like this. Okay, but you don't want this part open. You want the flat side open like this and now we're going to go ahead and fold it into the center here on all the flaps the bottom part okay so it looks like that and then flip it over to this side find all the flat sides like this and fold it in And one more. Now it's like this, you take each one of these petals and you fold it down. There's four of them. Make sure you fold all four petals down. You can also give a little curl to him if you want. And thank you. Happy Mother's Day from Upper Room Origami. <laughs>